Hi, it's Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I want to do a short video on the Concepts app for the iPad. I'm using an iPad Pro 9.7 and an Apple Pencil. Now the reason I wanted to do this little video is to introduce to the watercolour function in the Concepts app. Like all the other strokes in here, it is infinitely variable, the width, the um, opacity, the amount of smoothing, the colour, the whole lot is all completely and utterly adjustable. So if for example I go for this bright pink colour here and use this, we can see, there we go, make it wider and so on and so forth. Now, the main reason that I wanted to show you this is because you might get just a little frustrated if you're not aware of it. The object with, um, with watercolour is generally to lay one transparent layer on top of another to make different colour blends and shadows and light and things like that. Now I've got this pink down here. If I go ahead and I change the color to maybe blue, should I go for this blue, it's a deeper blue, and I put this over the top, you can see that it just sort of blends in to the paint I have there previously. Now that may be the effect that you want, and it may not be, but I'm going to let you into a little secret. If you want it to act like watercolor on a dry surface, you need to put in another layer. So you add a new layer, and then when you go in, you get what I call the wet edge, that hard edge around the outside of your brush stroke that you will get if you put wet paint onto dry paper. If you don't put another layer in, it will continue to blend as if all your paint is wet. And that is a particular difference with this software because with this software, this is still vector mode. And so you still have the ability to edit your lines after you've made them. Now to edit normally, you would tap on here and you would either encompass something in a lasso or you would tap on it and you would select it, as indeed that has done. Now, the difficulty is if you've done a lot of painting and you've put a lot of layers in, you suddenly go to tap something to think you're gonna move it, remove it, recolor it, whatever, and you find it won't pick it up. One of the reasons that it won't doing it is if you're not looking in all layers. If like me, you tend to use a different layer for a different pen or a different pencil or whatever, and that is your habit, you'll be thinking, well, I'm just watercoloring. I don't need to have any other layers in you'll forget that you've put layers in eventually. And you'll be thinking, why can't I select something? And that's because you've probably got it set to looking in the active layer only. So you need to make sure that one, <laughs> nothing, you need to make sure that, that one is looking in all layers. Now, the other one you need to be wary of is the partial strokes excluded or included depending on what you were trying to pick up. Now that said, sometimes I have found that my Apple Pencil is a little temperamental on picking something up and sometimes it doesn't want to do it. Like so. I thought I was going to pick something up and it's telling me nothing is found. It's looking in all layers and partial strokes are excluded. If I go to included, let's see what we find. So I've got a choice of strokes coming up according to that, but it's not picking up with my pencil. If I put my finger on here, it picks something up. So I don't know whether that is a fault with my pencil, whether it's a fault with my iPad, or whether it's a fault with the software. I suspect that it's a bit of a glitch with the software because I've been using my Apple Pencil on other software and it's been fine. But that said, it is very, very good. The app in general is excellent. 
and if you want to play watercolour but you don't want to go out and buy paper and paints then this will give you a good idea of what watercolour actually does and apart from anything else it's just a nice add-on into a very powerful drawing program anyway okay thanks for watching take care now bye bye